Hello guys, today I'm at McFerrin Motors once again in Humble, Texas and we're going to do some automotive, we're going to do automotive reviews here and I'm going to combine all the, all, all the cars that I'll do in one video here. So we're going to start off with this 1996 Chevrolet Suburban 2500. I actually wanted to check out an older Suburban. So truck Chevrolet, hypercritical one, 2004 Chevy Brandon one. Here you go. And this one has power locks, windows, mirrors, and seats. Huh, that doesn't sound good. Power tilting, height, and recline. And power lumbar. Doesn't sound good though. Here's your four speed automatic transmission with low gear selection. And use your four wheel drive controls. Use your simple to use climate control. Use your fan speed, temperature, your different zones. Use your recirculation, rear window defroster. Use your theft lock. AM FM stereo with a cassette player. Use your auto dimming rear view mirror. Use your illumination lights. Use your rear climate control. Can't see that. Can't really see it, so I'm gonna get up close. Use your center console here. Use your storage compartment. This is your in, is your center console. And this is an ashtray. It's removable. And that is enough of this vehicle. Next. Now we'll do Next, well, now for a 2002 Chevrolet Tahoe LS. No, 2001 Chevrolet Tahoe. It's my first time in an older Chevrolet Tahoe. This one has power locks, windows, mirrors. The power of sliding and tilting driver's seat with manual recline. Has 177,095 miles. Here's your four speed automatic transmission with overdrive and tow haul mode on the shifter column. Here's your simple to use climate control. Here's your fan speed, temperature, your different zones. Use your theft lock, AM FM stereo with the, the CD player and the cassette auto dimming review mirror. Use your rear AC control. Use your rear fan speed only. You can see that. And this vehicle is not four wheel drive. This is a two-wheel drive vehicle. If this was four-wheel drive, then right here, this is where the four-wheel drive controls would be. There's your traction control, there's your headlight controls, your rear wiper controls, your front wiper controls, your, your turn signal indicators, there's your center console, your cup holders, and then in the Nash tray storage compartment excuse me and I apologize for the highway noises out there so let's get going now now for 
the 2005 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. This car has power locks, windows, mirrors, and a power sliding and tilting driver's seat with manual recline. Use your four-speed automatic transmission with low gear selection. Use your dual zone climate control, fan speed, use your temperature. This is for the driver and passenger, new different zones. Use your recirculation and vent, rear window defroster, new traction control, heated and it's got heated seats. Here's a 12 volt power outlet. Here's your headlight controls, fog light controls, dome override, wiper controls and turn signal indicators. It has 185,032 miles. It's got a custom stereo in it. Here's your power sunroof as well. It's fully loaded. Let's get going now. Next off, 2004 Ford Taurus. This car has power locks, windows, mirrors, and a, and a power sliding and tilting driver's seat with manual recline. Use your four speed automatic transmission with low gear overdrive. Use your, use your cruise control on the steering wheel. Use your AM FM stereo with the with the cassette player. Use your simple use climate control, fan speed, temperature, different zones, manual dimming rear view mirror, and there's your here's your visors with the mirror underneath. There's and this car does not have a center console. It does not have any illumination lights right here, but for the rear. Use your trunk release and your parking brake release. Headlight controls, fog light controls, turn signal indicators, wiper controls. And now for the now for the 2002 GMC Yukon. Interior is kind of dirty. This vehicle has power locks, windows, mirrors, and a sl power sliding and tilting driver's seat with manual recline. It's got a four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive and tow haul mode on the shifter column. Is your simply use climate control, fan speed, temperature, and your different zones. Use your recirculation and vent, and your rear window defroster and AC. Use your theft lock, AM FM stereo with the CD player and the cassette. Has 192,895 miles. Use your illumination lights, rear climate control.
Use your center console here. It's a very nice, it's a very nice truck. All right, let's get going. Now we'll do the 2007 Dodge Caravan. Take a look in the back. You can hear the hazards going off. It's not a problem. Okay. This van has power locks, windows, mirrors, and manual seats. Use your cruise control on the steering wheel. Use your four speed automatic transmission with low gear selection. And use your simple to use climate control, fan speed, temperature different zones, use your rear window defroster, use your rear wiper control, use your recirculation and AC, use your AM FM stereo with the CD player, use your passenger airbag warning, manual dimming, rear view mirror, use your parking brake release, dome override, wiper controls, turn signal indicators, and your headlight controls. And 12 volt power outlet. It's a nice van. All right. That's it for the van. Can't do the Yukon because it's sold. And now, next off, now for the 2012 Mazda 3. This car has power locks, windows, mirrors, and power seats. It has power recline and sliding and tilting. Use your six speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability. Use your use your dual zone. Or not dual zone. Use your climate control here. Use your fans use your fan speed, your different zones and your temperature. This this is for the passenger and this is for the driver this car has an AM FM stereo with a CD player manual dimming review mirror power sunroof and your cruise control radio controls on the steering wheel it has the Bose sound system use your center console cup holder Use your parking brake here. And traction control. And that's it for this car. And now for a 2000, 2000, 2009 Ford Mustang. guys all right this car is power locks windows mirrors and a sliding and tilting driver's seat with manual recline use your four-speed 
automatic transmission with load your selection use your parking parking brake simple use climate control your shaker 500 AM FM stereo with a CD player manual dimming review mirror your illumination lights use your wiper controls use your headlight controls dome override simply use climate control fan speed temperature different zones and use your cup holder in the center console all right I didn't close it right. There we go. And now for in the next vehicle. And now for the 2008 Ford Mustang. Mustang. The other Ford Mustang here. This one, this Mustang has the manual transmission. Seats are different in this one. You can tell there's a big difference between this one and that and that 2009. This one also has power locks, windows, mirrors, manual seats. Use your parking brake here. And it's got a six speed manual transmission. And there's your simple use climate control. Use your fan speed, temperature, different zones. Use your AM FM stereo, the CD player. Use your wiper controls, use your headlight controls and turn signal indicators, your cruise control. It's a nice car. Next off, and the next vehicle that we'll do now and now for a two thousand nine Hyundai Genesis. And this car has power locks, windows, mirrors, and full power seats. This car has a six speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability. And use your cup holder, use your heated seats. Use your radio controls and the steering wheel as well as your cruise control and your driver's info. There's two person memory settings. Open the door because it's hot. And use your fuel cap and trunk release. Has a power power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And your wipe headlight controls, fog light controls, turn signal indicators, and your wiper controls. And the Lexicon sound system. That's it for this one. And it also has an auto dimming home link groovy mirror. And now for a 2006 Toyota Camry. Oh god.
right, this car has power locks, windows, mirrors, and seats. And this car has a four speed automatic transmission with no gear selection and overdrive. Use your storage compartment. Use your 12 volt power outlets. And your parking brake. And your cup holders. And use your center console. Simply use climate control, fan speed, temperature, different zones. Here's your rear circulation, AC, your rear window defroster. Here's your AM FM stereo with a CD player. And here's your manual dimming rear view mirror. Here's your wiper controls and your turn signal indicators, headlight and fog light controls. Has a tilt steering wheel. And now for a 2004 Cadillac, now for the 2004 Cadillac CTS. This one's fully loaded, has low miles on it, of course. And this car has power locks, windows, mirrors, and seats. This car has a four-speed automatic transmission with low gear selection. Use your dual zone automatic climate control. Use your AM FM stereo with the CD player. Has a tilt steering wheel. Use your headlight controls, fog light controls, turn signal indicators. Use your parking brake. Release. Use your auto dimming review mirror with OnStar. Use, it has a power sunroof as well. Use your trunk release. And of course, and here's your fourth, like I said, this is a four speed automatic transmission with low gear selection and sport mode. Alright. And now on to the last car. Now we're on to the last car for today. This is a 2008 Chevrolet Malibu LTZ. Has two-tone leather interior. Has 89,155 miles. And this car has power locks, windows, mirrors, and seats. It has heated seats, two-person memory settings. And it has a six-speed automatic transmission, or five-speed. It has six-speed automatic transmission with the manual shiftability by the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. And use your cruise control and your radio controls on the steering wheel. Use your dual zone climate control. Use your fan speed in your different zones and your temperature. Use your circulation and vents, AC, and, and your rear window defroster. Use your auto dimming review mirror with OnStar. It has a power sunroof. And an AM FM stereo with a CD player, of course. Use your headlight controls, fog light controls, turn signal indicators, and your wiper controls. And your trunk release. Alright.
and now and well guys I really hope you enjoyed the the automotive reviews here the next installment over at McFerrin Motors in Humboldt Texas for the November 2012 update stay tuned for more videos guys there's a lot more cars to come thank you for watching